Salutations, friends. It is I, said Stevie. And today, I have an unboxing of something that I've been eagerly awaiting. So let's just get right into it. The unboxing knife for today, since it is Warncliffe Wednesday as I am recording this, is the Best Tech Malware designed by uh, the Brothers Todd over at uh, Todd Knife and Tool. Uh, super slicey and very stabby. Uh, but this knife is from my brother over on the EDC Roundtable, uh, Mastranza Blades. Uh, Lee made, uh, had some uh, stuff that he posted on the uh, website, and I wanted it. I've been wanting something of his uh, for a while now, and I finally I got it. I forgot to slice that part. So, uh, Lee, um, Strands of Blades, part of the EDC Roundtable, uh, is he's a forge out of North Carolina. I did get to uh, finally meet up with Lee in person while... Uh, I was at uh, Blade Show West, and this is a EDC uh, fixed blade. Um, it comes in this le sweet, 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 uh, better than cardboard uh, leather uh, clip slip, uh, designed by none other than Lancelot Leather. Uh, these clip slips are awesome, but uh, here is the knife boom just a little little fixed blade uh and this thing is uh it's pretty pretty dang gorgeous um so uh what are we looking at here uh this is a hand forged damascus uh, blade i believe he said it is 45 layers of uh 1095 and 15 and 20 and the handle is West Indian uh, locust uh, wood. And yeah, this is this is like the perfect little fixed blade here. Uh, this is something that I'm gonna probably start carrying on my uh, when I am out and about on my uh, uh, rambles uh, in the woods. Uh, this is something that can easily, uh, just slide right into uh, my pocket and um, you know I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be trying to put this uh, through some paces for sure um, definitely got uh, a very sharp uh, edge on it yep and uh, yeah this is gorgeous I am really digging this uh, he nailed the handle really the ergos on here are money and yeah, I can see this being a very, very useful, just tiny little uh, fixed blade. But uh, this is actually my first uh, Damascus knife. And it's looking pretty damn sexy if uh, I don't say so myself. Look at the pattern in there. Now, I don't know enough about Damascus to know what kind of a pattern this is. Is it, is it a weave pattern? Oh, did I pause there for a second? Uh, is it, you know, I don't know what kind of pattern this is. Then you can see it does uh, have Mastranza uh, stamped, Mastranza blades and his, uh, his logo. You can see there. Sorry again about the light, folks. Does this help me any? Maybe a little bit. Um... You can see there. What happens if I turn on my camera light? Is that too much? That's probably too much. But you get the gist of it there. You can see the. You definitely see the uh, stamping of his logo in the blade. And yeah, uh, I, I think this was two something, two and some change. I'll have to uh, go back and double check, but. Uh, yeah, I am stoked to finally have some of Lee's work. Uh, Lee runs his forge, as I mentioned, out of uh, North Carolina uh, with his homie uh, Julius. 
and yeah, cool, uh, cool dude. Uh, Lee was, uh, I believe, a chef, and uh, started making chef's knives early on. And I'm still definitely uh, going to get a chef's knife from him. He's uh, his books are closed right now, and he's uh, steady cranking out uh, all sorts of custom orders. But I do want to get more work from Lee. Um, this is very, very comfortable. It really is. And I like that uh, the, what is this part of the, the blade called? The heel of the blade? It's not uh, at a point, so it's not sharp. So if I do choke up like this, you know, I can definitely have it back here. But then if I want to right up into here, I'm not slicing my index finger at all. And yeah, I'm pretty, uh, pretty stoked on this bad boy. So... What do you guys think? Pretty cool. That's all I got for you folks. Um, oh, I guess before I say that, uh, more on the uh, slip. Uh, Joe does amazing work. Uh, I'm a little, uh, probably a little biased at this point, um, but not really. Uh, before Joe was really a friend and even a partner in the EDC Roundtable, I bought Lancelot Leather uh, products anyway. But you can see I'm sporting my uh, Lancelot Leather Friendship Bracelet. This is made by Lancelot Leather. I got, uh, what else from Lancelot Leather do I have on me? I got my uh, business card holder. Um, I'm all, uh, I'm hell-bent for leather. And then I also have my, uh, or doom to, no, I do. I knew I did. I have my uh, Lancelot Leather uh, coin slip. Uh, with my fungible uh, Shire Mint uh, decision token. Um, gifted to me by my homie, uh, Jason Brown. But, yeah, uh, this slip is good. It definitely is going to have to uh, work in a little bit. God, why is my camera freezing? Gosh, dang it. But uh, the retention on this is perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Um, you know, although it does need to get worked in a little bit. It's the perfect uh, amount of uh, retention. Joe has made many clip slips for many of Mastranza's blades. And so uh, he definitely knows Lee's work. And uh, he does know a thing or two about uh, leather. Uh, that ain't uh, no joke at all. So, um, yeah. Now that's all I got for you folks. So, appreciate you tuning in. And until the next one. I bid you mofos a deuces.